Hello, hello. Welcome for another episode of the Author Spotlight. Hey, it's your main man, the host with the most, Darren M. Palm. Excited to be with you again for another exhilarating episode. Hey, I got my man Jacob Spillis on. You know, Jacob Spillis is world-renowned. He's a speaker who has touched the hearts of many people. His ability to reach a diverse population and uplift people is remarkable. His down-to-earth teachings can help anyone shift their mindset to become more than just a statistic. He holds a master's degree from the University of Michigan and is the founder of More Than a Statistic Academy. Jacob is a licensed social worker, which has given him years of experience working with people who have lost all hope and need empowerment. Jacob was also selected among his alumni to be involved with leadership and community benefit organization at the University of Michigan. Mr. Spillis is a recipient of the 2016 Harold T. and Vivian B. Shapiro Prize for Distinguished Achievements as well. I just wanted to share a little bit about his bio. If I go into everything about his bio, we wouldn't even have enough time on this on this show. But I just want to welcome Jacob Spillers to the show. If you don't mind, Jacob, say hey to the people and fill in any of the gaps that I might have left out out of your bio, please, sir. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I'm 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 just thrilled the success you're having. How many national bestsellers, authors you're getting out there? Um, you know, I always had a dream of being an entrepreneur, but I never knew what the word was called. So I started off with social work. The bio is a little um, delayed now, but I'll catch you know people up after the book. You know, I kind of, kind of the book went into just kind of a series of speaking tours to everything like that. So from there, I took. Um, the book and I first created my Facebook and it kind of rolled off into two businesses. So I went from having just one statistic selling books, consultant speaking to now doing digital marketing for companies on a, on a super large scale to having clients. So we'll get that later, how you can take the book all the way to making tens of thousands of dollars. So, you know, from there, I, you know, won the Jefferson award, which is kind of like the Nobel peace prize, they say uh, for uh, service, award and then I got a 20 under 40 uh, national award after that and really started like right after the book I would say within six months I started getting two thousand dollars per speaking engagement all the way up to four thousand dollars later kind of went there and started speaking and it kind of really you know it's more of the mindset as well speaking to bigger audiences so I started hanging out with I started hanging out with people that made you know, five figures to six figures, then hanging out with people that make six figures a day, literally. So it really kind of expand the more, uh, more I put into it. So, you know, now I'm actually in my new office right now. We got a, a couple of nonprofits we just launched um, all together, you know, multi million dollar thing coming. Then I got my Spellless Media Company that's doing good, and we got more statistics. So we're building the platforms out now, but we're doing very well with. With, with the book and as you always told me as a coach that the book is just your stepping stone if you think you're going to get rich off the book you, you know you're not a uh, the lady who wrote harry potter you know what i mean that that, <laughs> that takes a lot of work and, and stuff like that so you got to have the hustle so you can't write the book and, and, and that but you know uh mr palm would take care of you every step of the way to show you the stuff because when i came to him i just really had an idea and I remember in December, I think it was around December, I said, I'm going to write a book, but I didn't know how to edit. I have a hard time um, reading high school dropout, you know, all, all that stuff. And uh, his team put it all the way together with images, uh, put it on to Amazon and really teach me how to save my money versus going to the traditional publish right where they'll make you pay six grand for marketing and make you pay 2500 to put you in some fake magazines and stuff like that. Oh, man, that's what's up, man, Jacob. I sure appreciate that love, man. And and that's why I brought uh, Mr. Spillers, Mr. Spillers on the show today because he embodies something. This is something that I got from him. Actually, he coined the term, uh, you know, of of, uh, of gussle, you know, the grind and the hustle together. And his book, if you haven't gotten it yet, but I got my copy right here. Keep it right there on the desk, baby. I keep that right there. there this is a great book, man. I mean, um, and I'm not just saying it because he's on, because it's real. You have people that's giving you fluff. And that's why certain organizations, certain things that I have to watch myself with being a part of, because people aren't giving real life examples of how to get where you need to go. Like what he shared, what I shared with him, I'm like, man, now you can do it. It look cute, but man, you're going to give up a lot of bread. You're going to give up a lot of money, which you could be reinvesting in your business or use it towards your family. 
And so that's what Jacob and his team does as far as what they're doing, whether it's with media, whether it's with his books, his consulting, his nonprofit. They're actually giving people the tools, the steps that they need to actually make a difference now. We ain't talking about 20 years from now. They give you stuff that you need to make it right now. And so that's why I brought him on the show. Now, Jacob, you shared a little bit about the book and, uh, and you know, some of them don't know all about where you come from, the whole nine. And, um, um, you know, you shared a little bit about the, I think about, I shared a little bit about the dyslexia, but at the same time, I know some people are wanting to ask and say, okay, this guy got a book. So just like we would say, what made you, think that you could write a book and when so many failed at the task. I want to ask you this a little bit differently. What made you start being a mogul? And yeah. what made you didn't what made you not stop at just saying, yay, I did a book. I did a book. What what made you keep pushing the envelope? Because you have evolved ever since I met you, man, you always go into another level. Always every time I see you, you go into another level. And could you share that part of you? What make you keep going when the odds are against you the way that you do it? Yeah. So, yeah, the whole I, – I, I break it down. I should have – I got too excited to where we're at now. But the movement before, we started the movement more in statistics. So my story is, you know, I was um, – uh, in and out of incarceration as a youth, ran the streets, homeless at 16, in and out. And, you know, at 18 years old, was facing 10 years in prison for uh, drug trafficking. So didn't have a GED. Uh, and, and the story really came like empowering people. So when I was incarcerated, you noticed that uh, really it's just made of people who have mental health, poor people, people of color. And you can, you can see it all over the city. I'm, you know, I'm not here to argue political stuff. I'm just telling you what I've seen in my community. Like my community, that, I mean, we just moved to the suburbs recently, but the community I have, I'm pretty sure just through the data, there's only one person in my zip code with a, with a bachelor's degree and then three people with um, associate degrees. So writing a book, I, I, I don't know anybody I mean, until so I got into like certain programs and stuff, I've never even heard of anybody writing a book. I thought that was just what like celebrities did and uh, big time motivational speakers and stuff. So I never really did that. So the mindset became more in statistics. So they say that 85% of people in America hate their jobs, but most people won't leave their jobs. You know, most people don't even have the courage, you know, like you mentioned, Lou, I have lost literally tens of thousands of dollars doing dumb um, moves, you know, they could have been lessons, you know, that, that's why it's important to get a coach because they you think about this. I just read that Stephen Curry coaches other people for $2,500 uh, to coach other basketball players. Now imagine if I'm coming up in the league and I got these well-known coaches, how more successful I'd be. They've ever done it, lived it, experienced. So anybody who doesn't hire a coach, I mean, I, I, I mean, since I've got my book, I'm pretty sure I invested almost between thirty and $40,000 in mentors to learn digital marketing, to learn business sales. This is not just some stuff, and Darren will tell you, it's not just like I get the book. you got to literally know how to sell and not just cheesy, cheesy stuff like sell yourself. You're going to have to know. I, I, I'll give you some real game right here. I pay tens of thousands. How to sell to the four different types of personalities. How to persuade. How to do ad copy online. How to run ads. How to steal your competitor's traffic. You know, stuff, stuff like that. So the more statistic really goes into all areas of my life. Like your marriage, for example. You could be the best speaker, richest businessman. But if your kids hate you in your marriage, that's, that's you're mentally poor. You know? So more statistic came into like I'm beating the odds of, you know, really I'm a high school dropout, dyslexic kid, um, three time um, felon. Uh, I got five generations of incarceration. So it really came there. And then when I came to my career, I started thinking like, man, most people, when you see them in the job place, they're like, Oh, I just want to work 40 hours a week and get retirement and, and, and stuff like that. They really short their life. And I get it guaranteed if we go to a retirement home, and we see people, we, they regret that they never took them risk and they never really lived that life. They just took the basic life. So the whole movement behind is, you know, a lot of people think, you know, and it is kind of related to, you know, people maybe that come from past, but more statistic really like, so for the authors that are watching this, how do you become more statistic? How do you become Darren's number one student right off the rip? You can't, Darren can give you all the, the great information that you want, but if you don't apply it and take it to the next level, you don't become more in statistics, you're going to fail, you know, flat out. So, you know, that's, that's how it really came. And then went from speaking, like I never did speaking 
to uh, get money. I didn't even know people really got paid to speak. I thought it was only like Michael Jordan and stuff like that and, you know, the big time legends. So I started speaking to some schools and neighborhoods and that, that's cool. You know, I see a lot of people speak to the community. That's great. But when you take it to a professional level, it's a whole nother mannerism. Like right now, I guarantee you, like other motivational speakers that I haven't been coming, if you got flooded with 24 leads, do you have a contract? Do you have a, a, a at least a virtual assistant that goes to the email. Do you know how to do all that type of stuff? Do you know how to get a deposit? Do you even have a PayPal account, a Stripe account, uh, a funnel page, a website? You know, these are all things that I think people aren't ready. And that's why you got to be um, more statistic when you come to all these areas in your life. So when you get the, get the book coming, you got to be thinking 10 steps. How do I take the book to an online program, maybe a coaching program to a $25,000 mastermind, you know, but as you mentioned, a lot of people are online are faking, you know, you know, like I'm not faking like this, this is my office. I didn't have this sky view big five office. You know, you know what I mean? Like this is really turning your dreams in, in, into reality and working with it. And, and I love it. You know, I kind of found my passion when I wrote the book, really doing the media stuff. Because people ask, like, man, how'd you sell 100 books? How'd you sell 1,000 books? I'm like, oh, you're not using uh, click funnels or running ads to your competitors? And like that. So that's how I kind of evolved um, there. So, you know, I, that's just my story where I'm at. And we just at, we just at the beginning, you know? Man, I love that. I love that. I love that. Now, now you heard what Jacob shared. Now, I want to go back to this because I know some people think that I'm tripping, but I have to tell you, every single winner that I know, they invest. I'm not just making this up. I still invest thousands of dollars every month. <laughs> so I'm not talking about, I'm still a student of the game. So that's not including, and that's besides just, not just like mentors, coaches, and stuff like that as well, programs I'm investing in, trips I'm going on, just what it takes to operate the business. But I'm investing in human capital. I'm investing in staff. I'm investing in office space. I'm investing in a lot of other things. And some of you just think that you're going to show up and be Jacob Spillers, but you just heard what the man said. He's investing thousands of dollars. Tens, let me stop saying thousands. Tens of thousands of dollars this man is investing on a regular basis. So you, you've seen – you're seeing the glory, but you don't understand the man's story. So that's why we have the author spotlight. So you're able to go behind the scenes and see. Because some of y'all might say, oh, man, this is just, a, you know, he broke it down to you. You can see the picture. Oh, this is just a white guy. He he just had it made. And his family probably was the Rockefeller. No, that, that is not the case. You see what I'm saying? This man had to go through some things. And what you're seeing is he invested. And I want to go to something else that's real big in this. And the thing about it, he has a, two beautiful kids and an extraordinary wife. And I want to talk about the importance of that as well. He, 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 he shared a little bit about it, but his wife is down with him. And I know some of you entrepreneurs out there, it might be your wife, your husband, significant other, whatever you want to call it, hey, whatever your thing is, your thing. But I'm just saying you got to make sure that your partner it, it feels involved in what you're doing. You have to be on one accord with one another. You know, I'm not saying you're going to agree on everything, but you must do this journey. You must do it together. You know, Jacob, uh, you know, I'm seeing him, you know, he, him and his wife, they out with each other when they can get away and they out in LA with each other. She's learning. So he's not just coming back, learning something. She's not a part of it. He letting her listen. She's listening. She's on the set. We had a speaking engagement, uh, you know, in Michigan. She's, She's there. She's she's helping out. She's helping with books the whole night. So, Jake, uh, Jacob, if you don't mind, please share with the audience the importance of having your significant other ride or die and be by your side and be a business partner in this dream that y'all doing for y'all family, creating a legacy. Could you share the importance of that? Absolutely. So I think um, a lot of people think like people become entrepreneurs. They think it's going to get rich. If you're trying to become rich, the first thing in entrepreneurship, like I guarantee I made a hundred thousand, but then by the time you pay expenses and like I had taxes is a whole nother ball game. If you don't know like the structure of your LLCs and, and, and have real good people on your team. Like if you don't know that stuff, one, get a coach, but two, it also goes down to your family. So it's like, at first I was working 12 hour days, now probably like 16 hour days. And, and I get mad, but, and this is a real good tip for me is like really planning out 
step by step and then letting your partner know the dream, the vision. So yeah, she started telling me like, I want to see it. You talk all this, you know, stuff all day. I hear these numbers and I just don't understand it. So yeah, I started taking her to um, shows and taking her to speaking engagements and having her do some work, you know, not over, but you want to make somebody a part because if you have a relationship and they feel like you're more towards your dream than them, they're going to cut you out. So, and then it's also important with your kids. So, Sometimes, you know, a lot of my mentors always told me, like, uh, there's another mentor you should interview this author, Greg Walker. You know, he owned, like, 250 Subway restaurants one time. And he always told me I could have been a billionaire, but I wanted to take my school every day. Not, not saying billionaires don't see their kids. It's just one thing that stuck with me that putting your, you're, you're going to be more wealthy when you put your family first. So it's like I've tried. My goal is to be more financially independent so I can – take care of my family and be at everything. So, you know, now it's like I'm blessed because I can pick my daughter up during the day. Whereas if I was in a factory, like my hometown, the dream job is Chrysler. So if I could, I couldn't do that working mandatory 12, four months straight, you know? So like now I can go pick them up or go swimming or take them on trips sometimes or do these type of things. So make sure, and, and, and two, it's just like making sure everybody's on the same page, you know? You're, and I hate to say it, but like you're, family not not maybe your wife or husband and kids but like the the family around you really won't support you until you like blow up and then they're like oh shit i didn't really think you were that smart or you were going to do it but it's it that just goes to show you like you got to have it in your mind despite everything because you didn't do it for your mom now they might be a motivational factor you want to buy them a house but in, in, in all honestly man it seems like sometimes the friends like they can't sometimes your success they're not able to even comprehend that type of stuff you know they might make jokes or something like that so it's like you got to really build that supportive system and not turn on them you got to build it that's what leaders do like you mentioned investing in staff i was at a conference and this guy got torn up, right? People paid, I think, I didn't pay this much, but people paid, I think, $1,000 for a ticket. Speakers, they had all eight-figure business owners, nine-figure business owners. And one of the young entrepreneurs said, I've hired 16 garbage people. They're all garbage. Hired 16 salesmen. And the guy from the stage who owned a $100 million company said, you know, you're effing garbage. The, the, the company is a reflection of you. You know, so I think a lot of times we got to implement that support and family. We got to be the dream that we that we see. So I see a lot of people, you know, it's like they blame them for not being supportive. But like you mentioned, bring them to the thing. You're real supportive with your wife. You know, bring them there so they see the dream. They see the passion. They just don't see dad working for nothing. And because, you know, it is going to work. And sometimes hard work doesn't pay off. I think the, I think the biggest downfall I see on the Internet with motivational speakers is they say grind, 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 grind. But they really don't know what the hell they're doing because there's grind. Right. And then there's people that are strategic. Right. So you can grind and help people there publish so many books. But if you if Dan doesn't know how to get you on the phone, right, this little piece and sell you and collect the payment and take care of your customer service, you're done for, you know? And, and then, too, it's like pe people just grind, and it's like there's people in starving countries making $2 a day grinding. Man, you got to be a little smart, you know? You got to have a little practical skills, you know? You can't, you know, you don't know what you don't know. That's the biggest thing I, I, I tell people. Like, man, I just remember, like, I went to a conference. I think I paid $5,000 for a mastermind. It was at Ty Lopez's house. The people are like, imagine how focused people are when they pay 5000 right? So I left that event, people teaching me right off the rip how to save $700 in my business, how to, how to, how to enroll, um, you know, like as a business owner, these things like how to put your cars in your business name, how to put your cell phones in your business name, because rich people pay expenses. Uh, then pay taxes, right? So you got to learn how to do that. Most most people don't know how to structure all this stuff. They don't, they're like, I don't need a, I'll just use legal zoom. You know, I'll just use a, 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 a H and R tax block. You know, they don't really know what's going on, what's going into it. You know, you got to have all that type of stuff. So it's like, you don't know what you don't know. And that's how important it is. And I'm telling you, boy, this dude, is, he slapped preaching on us over here, man, with this good content that he's giving us. But you don't know what you don't know. I can't tell you. And this, and I want to just let y'all know that yeah, this is this is about books, but this this is not about books. This is why we have the author spotlight. We go behind the scenes. This is in every area of your life. This is what Mr. Spellis is telling you. You can't get caught up. If you don't invest in your relationship, guess what? You're not going to have one. 
If you don't invest in your team, guess what? You're not going to have one. If you don't invest in your kids, you're not going to have any. I'm just telling you, you must be willing to invest. And, and he brought up some that I have to share about because I'm a witness to this more importantly. <clears throat> People ask me all the time, like, Darren, why are you, you live over here, but we see you traveling all the time. You with this group. You have to get around the right people. Do you hear what I'm saying? And I didn't used to, I used to think about this back in the day, Jacob. I was like, man, I used to think wrong. And I had to change my thinking. So when I changed my thinking, now it's nothing that I won't pay to be around the right people now. If I got to drive four or five hours to be around the right people, I'm going to do it. If I need to catch a plane to be around the right people, that's what I'm going to do because the earth is your turf, man. You got to realize that it's about you getting right. You know, some people say, oh, man, 5000 just to go to somebody's house. Do you know the people that's in that room at Ty Lopez's house when you're there? I know you know, but I'm talking to the audience out there. So you looking at it, you thinking going, get, and I'm not knocking this, you, you, you think getting some new Pumas or some Jays or something like that is important and looking fresh in a club, but the amount of information and the contacts that you're able to get. Now, just think about this. Because I have a connection with him. You on the air with me. He just dropped the jewel to me. Hey, Darren, I don't know if you know the guy or not. Greg Walker. Boom. Connections. See, most of y'all slow. See me, I ain't, I ain't moving slow. You see, I got it right, rope right down. See, I, I, didn't look, I might look slow. I might sound slow from, from Texas, man, but we like to do it big. We like our paper big, too, baby. We like our paper big, too. But I'm just trying to tell you that this is the thing that y'all not thinking about, man. It's masterminding, man. You got you to gotta connect with great, great people. You know, Jacob took time out of his schedule to come pour into you all today and me because of a relationship. That's what y'all got to understand. You got to hang around go get us. I got a man right now that I got a dude I could call. This dude, he showed up. He took time from his family real quick to say, hey, I'm going to do this for my guy, Darren, man, to help Darren them out, help his audience out. He didn't have to do that at all. Y'all seen that view? Y'all seen that view of the city that that man is looking at right there? You see how fresh he is, you know what I'm saying, how he looking? So my thing is, is that you got to take care of it, and you have to invest in yourself because what's killing you, is, I like to share it like this. The law of gravity exists whether you believe it or not. You not knowing about taxes or having a tax coach, taxes exist whether you believe it or not. You not knowing what to do with your social media or know what to do with marketing, it's, it's impacting you and affecting you whether you believe it or not. If you don't know how to sell, it's, I'm going to tell you right now, when he's talking about business, this thing right here is the thing that's separating us and why we're the number one self-publishing company in the world. Why? Because we do what the others won't do. While everybody else is trying just to do a little online click thing real quick, we do that stuff as well. But what I'm saying is we don't just rest on our laurels on just sending emails. Can I say, can I say one thing? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This, this is some stuff I implemented in my business. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I just did the 4th of July. Darren will have one of his staff call you on Valentine's Day just to tell you happy Valentine's Day, right? So 4th of July just came. I had three prospecting clients. These were big clients. I had uh, people reach out to him like, hey, this is so-and-so calling from Spellless Media. We just want to uh, hear your blessing. You're a prospect. You know what I mean? That's some stuff I learned um, from you. So you taking it all the way next to the level. And then, two for the people who are contemplating, like, man, I don't have whatever the package you guys got now. They don't work a payment plan out with you. So if you're really serious about your dream, put up 25%. Because like you mentioned, people will buy uh, um, $500 pair of pants. Like I was on the phone yesterday with a guy. He said, I'm, I'm going to buy a new car. I said, what's the car doing for you now, man? Give me, look, I'll give you a 30-day money-back guarantee, man. Sw swipe your card, you know? Those are things like you mentioned. I know you're a big fan. I think you – did you get into the Cardone program, the selling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Cardone. Yeah, I got some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, the Cardone University. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I, but you know what? What, what Jacob's talking about, that's, that's right. But other people aren't doing it. So I get tickled, you know, when I look at people and they, they see, I see some guys even I did books for, and they'll call themselves, they'll jump and try to do what I'm doing. But the thing is, they ain't willing to, they ain't willing to get blood on their hands. And what I mean by that is, right. you're not willing to pick up this mighty mouse here, man. You, you ain't willing, you ain't willing to, you ain't willing to knock, man. You ain't willing to go out of you know state to state with Texas plates. See, and that's the thing that they're not willing to do. You're not willing to invest in staff to have where calls are being made every day. So guess what? They might not get a close today, but guess what? The pipeline is full. So now in three months, six months from now, 
those calls that we've been working on today are showing up on our bottom line. See, in that mindset of investing and getting around others who are expanding, you help you think bigger. But like you said, Jay, then you start realizing, like, oh man, really 100 grand really ain't that. I remember back in the day, I thought 100 grand was a whole lot. Now you think like, man, that, I can't make it out of there. I, I gotta be, like on my vision board and everything, I got, I like, I got a heck of a million now. Like, I, you know, my, my net worth gotta be 250 million. So that's how I'm thinking. I gotta own this much real estate. I'm thinking bigger because right. when you hang around those who showing you what real wealth is, you think like, man, I was playing too small. Like you said, I was the same way with you. This U.S. Steel is the big plant where we're from, or Lowe's Distribution Center. So like I said, if I'm not able to have this interview with you that I'm having right now, if I'm worried about, oh man, I gotta go in at this time, I gotta work 12 hours, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see my kids, you know, me and my, you know, me and my wife working back and forth, we working shift work, we, I live that life. And I chose to do something different. And I'm just saying with Jacob Phillips, you've seen the same thing. This man is a Monday Renaissance man. He's taking the game by storm to the next level. This ain't the last that you've seen of him. Uh, I just want to let y'all know who he is. And Jacob, if you don't mind, share with our audience before we close this out, because I want you to get you back to your family and your business. Share with them how the, the, the information, how they can learn about the media and stuff that they need help. How can they connect with you for consulting? Or how can they benefit from the different services and packages that y'all have available? Yep. So one, one thing I want to give some free value for any speaker first. So one thing, let me see if I can, I'll get on my board real quick. All right. Let me see. Uh, right here. Give your book away for free, right? Mm -hmm. give, I don't know if we can see it. Give it away for free, right? You charge the customer. The books are only cost you like $2.17. That's how much mine is, right? Plus shipping and taxes. I would include another five bucks, right? So give the book away free plus shipping. So you break even on the expenses, right? Then you go, then you upsell them on a program, right? This should be $97 to $297, right? So if they buy, boom. Then you should have something that's $9.97, boom. This is how you should be working to really get that book there. And then if you're real slick, all these customers that buy this, now you have a 25, like I got people now paying me $2,500 for a six month coaching program. Boom. Then I'm working on a $15,000 um, mastermind. So, and the two, you can go to, um, I'm really living it. I'm not just one of the authors that just say how to get rich and, 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 and still working a nine to five job. <clears throat> go to my website, stoplivingaverage.com. That's where you get my free book. You can see everything that's there. Now, if you want to connect with me, uh, just for free advice, you can reach me at Jacob Spellis, S-P-E-L-L-I-S, -L -L -I um, for, for everything on Instagram, on Facebook, on um, everything like that. And if you want some just media help, I can have one of my sales associates reach out. Go to www.spellismedia.com. We help people with Google AdWords, Facebook ads, um, and here's another thing, authors, don't boost your posts. You're giving your money away. So if you want to learn more, just connect with me and, and we'll work on, uh, stuff like that. But that's, that's the value really I could give people is think like you mentioned 200, how do I get real estate? Like take all your money and, and, and put in stuff that generates more money, you know, don't buy, don't sell a hundred books. Like I remember every time this is how I got to the coaching, right? So I was just out of school, two kids, no money. I just had the idea of more statistics. I had Marshall Fox, who works for 120 Design now, create a logo. And again, you don't need the logo to, don't think you need the logo. And I don't even have business cards now. And I'm smoking people that, you don't need the business card and all that shit first. You, you need to learn how to sell and, and then generate that. Then you can generate that stuff. So I, I took the logo. I bought t-shirts for $2. I branded it on Facebook. First time, never had Facebook. And then boom, I sold $1,000 worth of t-shirts, man. People believe in vision, right? It's all about the branding. Why do people buy Starbucks versus your dollar store or your corner store coffee, right? Boom, got the 1000 All right. Paid Darren some money. Boom, kept selling, selling, selling. You see, you see what I'm saying? So once you sell 100 books, take that money, then buy your website. Or I give you some other other advice you can do for free. Go to ClickFunnels for ninety seven dollars a month. Buy a free book funnel. You can do that for free. Or do the pre order of the book, right? So do the pre order, collect all the money, pay Darren, 
then pay for your book design, and then it never even came out your money. Because most people, if you want to get wealth, how do you use other people's money? Or if you got a credit card, smack that on the credit card and pay it back in two, three months because it's going to be low interest. You know, most people spend their credit cards on shoes and stuff, but they won't invest in themselves. So, you know, what I ask individuals, man, is really, really get it, really get it going, man. Because the big brands are going to take a lot of money. Like you, like we mentioned, Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez, Eric Thomas. These guys are spending not a uh, hundred bucks. These guys are literally spending millions a month. I don't know about all, of them, but like, Ty, man, these guys are spending millions. Of bucks. Me, millions. Ty Lopez, Ty Lopez, and Grant Cardone are spending millions of dollars per month. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And that's not, it, you said some of them might even spend a meal even with just YouTube. And, you know, if some of them just spend a meal with Facebook. I mean, so you got to right. think about yeah. what, what are you doing? And even this show, like, I'm going to be flat out honest. We're giving game on this show today. That's why I had him on. Even with this show, this show is really a setup. The show is yeah. a setup because I get people like Jacob Spillis on the show. And just guess what? Yeah. I'm, I'm not here just for y'all. I mean, I'm here – a little bit for y'all, but I'm here for me and mine on uh, just being real with you. So if, if if I'm on here, if you don't apply nothing that's being shared on here, that's your fault because I done created the platform for you. I done served the food for you. If you didn't eat, if you didn't put your fork and knife in and eat something, that's your fault. But I'm applying the stuff that Jacob is sharing with me. And my fact, man, I'm going to get with you too, man, um, with your media stuff as well. I'm going to get with you too on that. I'll I hit you up on a message yeah. that. You sure that way? I need to get with you on that too and move forward. See, I'm still learning investing, man. I don't know it all. That's why I get people like Jacob on my team. So he can help me go to the next level in that area. Or he can get a member of his team can get with my team and teach one of our team members on what they should be doing. So now I don't have to worry about that now. Jacob got his people over. My people are learning from Jacob people on what we should be doing for as our brand. And we scale it. See, it's about scaling, baby. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not playing slow and playing small. So Ooh. you gotta think Ooh. different. I know what you mentioned. Like, I, I know what you're saying. Like, when I started speaking, it's like all my friends became a speaker for like one week. And then, you know what I mean? And then it's like, y'all don't got what it really takes. You know what I mean? And I know how they are. They're like, oh man, Darren just made $2,000. I can publish a book. But they don't know the hours that Darren, they don't know that um, Darren has lost money on some stuff or had a fight with some customers, you know, not in a bad way, but yeah, you know, or, or you know, I, I, last year I messed up on my tax. I ended up on like six grand, some stuff I wasn't even really hip to. You know what I mean? So I'm had to pay. You know, that's six grand. Like, man, that's I could have spent that on Facebook marketing. So one thing we could, I know we could collaborate too, is when we get clients together, we can also, you know, I do, I help them with the media part, coach them on that and, and stuff. But they they, they got to spend a lot of money for that. We, I mean, we too much game for that. Too much game. Too much game. Know? We can't give y'all all the game on here in one episode. But we're gonna be teaming up, partnering on some things, and plus, and plus, we gonna get we gonna get an event together. Me and him, we we've been needing to do this. We're gonna get some other changes. We're gonna get an event together because there's a lot that we have to share on y'all. And I, that's why I bought him on the show because this dude is real. And what I mean by real, he really lives it, man. I, I mean, the stuff y'all seeing on Instagram and stuff like that, you, you got to get people who – and you might not get to the Grant Cardone right now. You might not get to Ty Lopez and me. But at the same time, you got people who are in transition who headed above them. This They, they didn't just start where they are right now. They have progressed and evolved over time. This is a guy you need to get with because I'm telling you, he, where he at now, he wasn't there last year. So as okay. time is going by, you're gonna get to the point where now it's a hundred grand or it's it's a hundred grand or it's a meal for you to be able to connect with this guy. So you need to try to get in now where you can spend some thousands of dollars to get in because all of a sudden it's gonna be twenty, hundred thousand to a million for you can get in with this guy. And don't say I didn't tell you, I didn't warn you, but you know, I hope you can do that as well. But you might want to get in now and get your and get your game and get your lesson so you can go to the next level with Jacob. But man, Jacob, I want to tell you, man. Time is far spent, man. Thank you for your time. We're going to get together on some of that other stuff. I ain't playing either, man. I'm serious about that stuff that you were just talking about. I'm going to get with you on that. We're going to move forward. But do you have any last words to the people, Jacob, before you get out? No, just just, just keep going and get a coach, man. If you don't invest with Darren, like I'm not – he don't pay me to do this. We don't – you know, all, all that stuff. I could have – um, went somewhere, but seriously, man, Darren will walk you step by step, and he mean it. Publish your book in 30 days. I know people that – Took two years to publish a book, man. I literally December, uh, uh, February was done. 
in March, I was already there. April, I was in Barnes and Nobles and, and Books a Million already there. And then by the summer, I was I was already getting paid full blown speaking engagements and, and stuff like that. So again, one last thing too is don't I, remember that we talked about a lot of people don't got what it takes to be successful. So I know there's a lot of people that are life coaches, which is great, but there's so many life coaches out there. Find a niche, you know that 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 you're good at, like. This, this is where I see the problem with a lot of speakers. They're a speaker, they're a consultant, they're a Bitcoin trader, uh, they're they're a for, they're a real estate wholesaler, they're a digital marketing specialist, they're a consultant. More, like like pick something, especially in my generation. It's it's embarrassing how many people reach out to me. And I just ask them one question: like how much you spend on Facebook a day? How many employees you have? You know what? Like show me some proof. You know, because you don't got that big brand yet. You got you got to you got to prove it. So you know, you know, you got a lot of authors. Invest with Darren. That's my personal word. Man, that's what I'm talking about, man. That, and you heard it from the man Jacob Spillers himself. And remember that this is the year for your new book. Until next time, hey, and y'all send us some messages. Send us some messages when y'all see this episode. Tell us what. Tell us how bad y'all want me and Jacob to do an event. We we might we might do an online event. Then we'll do an event at some different locations. And, and select spot. We're gonna have private groups for some of this. We want real serious people. If I bring, we bring Jacob in. We gotta be serious. We ain't playing with no. We want real people who say I'm ready to go to the next level. You know, if you just want a free ebook, go somewhere else. We'll give you that too on one of the website. But this is gonna be for the real people who run to take their business to the next level. So we go. Y'all should put that in the notes if y'all want us to come and do a free event. Uh, not a free event, but a like a mastermind event or something like that with y'all in y'all city. So let us know that. But thank you again, Jacob, man. Salute to you, my brother. Thank you for coming on and blessing yes. us. And, uh, and like I said, man, tell your wife, I said hello, everybody, the whole team back where you at, man, in Ohio, man, and we're going to go from there. But till next time, remember, this is the year to your new for your new book. Be blessed and be great.